the scene. I'm on another level, I'll let you pick my team. Bet not throw it to the running back, I use a pick that screen. When it come to this winning, I'm addicted, nigga team. Average winning game by 21, guess I'm in my prime time. Don't trip, I might be a trip, so catch me five wide. Talking about you want another chance, then get you five tries. Time flies, two o'clock, I promise that is not wise. If you is not cop, please don't hit my jack, man. If I lose, I gotta get my get back like I'm Max Payne. Your whole team completely covered, yeah, that's when it's sad king. Run it up, his O don't take no nil, this ain't Shaq name. Scoring touchdowns like when the pack came. Lock you up like you got bars, this ain't the rap game. Beat them then, doing worse on the run it back game. Send a blitz, cloud of judgment, this is Black Rain. Huh? I'm in my zone, but we manning up. Send a blitz, cloud of judgment, this is Black Rain. Uh, I'm in my zone, but we manning up. Send the blitz, cloud of judgment, this is Black Rain. All right, man, so this game right here um, was a player lounge game, and I wish I was able to record it, um, but I wasn't. So I want y'all to see, like, what actually what actually happened. So I'm playing this game. Well, I'm recording, right? I'm recording, and um, it actually freezes somehow, and I don't, I don't recognize that it freezes, so I'm actually playing but my recording is frozen. So you guys will see it here in a minute. This was probably one of the craziest players lounge games I've ever played, honestly. I ended up losing in overtime, but as you guys see, it's froze right now. So what I want to do is show y'all like my in-game camera. And that's why, and this is why I didn't know it was frozen, but take a look at my in-game camera. So that's me. I like to record with the camera still facing me and everything. But as you guys can see, I'm still moving, but the game is not the, the, the game is frozen so I didn't know that <clears throat> the game was frozen until like the fourth quarter so what actually happened was um, what, what actually happened was I'm gonna show you guys another game but what actually happened was um, I haven't been playing on I haven't been playing on Xbox so there wasn't a player's level tournament for PlayStation so when I unplugged my uh, HDMI cord to hook up my Xbox, it ended up freezing it. So I had to go and like re-download the system and everything. And like I said, I haven't, I haven't played Xbox in so long, so it ended up, it ended up freezing my system somehow. So um, this right here is a ranked rigs game right here. This is Big Hoss. And today we're going to have a topic of conversation, man. So we're bringing back the conversations on this channel, man, because there's so much going on in the world. So, um... Have y'all seen um, Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark? Uh, yeah, Caitlin Clark. Uh, the topic of conversation. So, um, the one picture of Caitlin Clark doing this right here, and then Angel Reese doing this right here. So, if you ask me personally, man, people are trying to make this a big race thing. And I don't think it's a racial issue. People are seeing past the fact. So me, before race gets involved, for, before people, bro, you can't take up for, you know, it's a black person and a white person. You got to be on the black person's side. No, I'm on the side that's right. I'm on the side that's logical. I'm on the side that makes uh, makes sense. You know what I'm saying? So that's a nice run right there by him. Nice hit stick by me. Um, if you go back and if you really know what's going on, so... Um, I see a post. It says one was called a savage and the other one was called classless. So when Caitlin Clark done this, they called her a savage. And then when uh, Angel Reese done this, they called her classless. So here's the situation. Here's the situation. Caitlin Clark's side of the story. You know, here's two sides of the story. Caitlin Clark's side of the story. You know what I'm saying? She hit a three or whatnot and she looked at her bench. She looked at her bench, her fans, her teammates, her coach, and she went like this to them. Pretty much, this is pretty much saying, you can't see me, pretty much. Pretty much saying, I'm badass. So that's why they called her a savage for that. Mm, hit a three, walk down the court, look at her bench. Mm, showboating with her friends, showboating with her teammates. You know what I'm saying? Now, that's disrespectful to the other team, but she's not doing that to the other team. She's doing it to her bench, her teammates, her fans. You know what I'm saying? Now, you look at Angel Reese's side of the story. She just whooped Caitlyn in the championship. She just whooped her. She has a ring on her finger, so she's following Caitlyn around the, uh, around the uh, court. 
doing this right here. She gets beside her at the free throw line. She's in her face. Mmm. You feel me? She in her face now. Mmm. What now? Now, from Angel Reese's side of it, it's just, hmm, how do you say this? It's competitiveness. Competitiveness. It's, bro, you just won the championship. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's, for real, like, it's, it's competitiveness. They're not used to that in girls' sports like that, but when they see it, they think like, oh, that's bullshit. She, that was a thuggish move. Now, if you ask me, it is disrespectful. Um, it can be called classless. You know what I'm saying? Because she done it at the heat of the moment. She done it when the game was over. You know what I'm saying? And she was doing it out of disrespect. If you say she's not doing it out of disrespect, then you're wrong because she's following her around. She in her face with it. Mm, we just won the ring. We just whooped y'all's ass. You feel me? Mm, now, can you see that? You can't see me. You feel me? So if you if you look at it from that point of view, it's disrespect. Um, one was called savage. One was called classless. Um, that's what it was. I mean, I feel like that's what it was. I'm not gonna say. Uh, Caitlin uh, Clark's was savage I'm just gonna say it was A badass move You feel me That was You hit a three You look at your fans You look at your friends on the sideline You feel me You That's like flexing Hey boy I hit hard Boy you see that Now I didn't go up to the opponent and say mm, I just mm, You see how I rocked you I put you mm, You feel me And we just beat y'all I didn't do that to the opponent I looked at my bench and I said Mmm Flexing with you feel me now as an athlete you understand the difference now People are trying to make it seem like it's a big race issue If Caitlin Clark would have done this to Angel Reese It would have been the same situation, but people are trying to make it seem like oh because she's white They're gonna say it's savage. It's cool, but and because Angel Reese is black It's a bad move. It's it was you know what I'm saying, but the difference is the difference she done that to her sideline she flexed with her with her teammates, and Angel Reese did it to the opponent whose move that is. That's like, that's that's. How do you not see the difference? If you can't see the difference, then that's that's crazy. Now, like I said, I understand the competitiveness. I, I understand that. I understand like, I just beat you in the championship. Trust me, I understand that. And to do her move on her though, like I ain't said that's her move, but like to do what she done. After they called her a savage for doing it, she done it, and it was like, okay, that was a nice move by you, Caitlyn. So then, once they won the championship, she now she done it. I feel like if Caitlyn Clark would have won the championship, she would not have done that to Angel Reese's face. She would not have gone up to. I feel like she wouldn't have gone up to Angel Reese. I feel like she wouldn't have gone up to the other team or nothing. She probably would have done it to her bench once again. But she would not. I, personally, that's how I feel about it. I feel like personally, she would not have done that to an opposing player. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and that's just based off of um, each one of them's character. Honestly, bro. Like, I mean, we see what type of player Angel Reese is. She's a very cocky, competitive player. Um, nothing wrong with it, bro. There's plenty of players that have been like that. Terrell Owens was like that in football. Um, you know? That just type of player she is, and you're gonna get a bad rap for yourself when you do stuff like that. Um, that's just that's just it. But what do you guys think about it? You know, what I'm saying I'm just curious on your guys' take on it because you know this is an opinionated channel. You know, what I'm saying I mean, I, I ain't right all the time. I ain't wrong. I just voice my opinion. You know, but that was my opinion on that right there. I feel like honestly, I do feel like it was a classless move. But at the same time, I feel like in the heat of the moment, you flexed up on your on your opponent. In the heat of the moment, you just won a ring. And, you know. Now, I can see if they had beef. There was no beef. There was no history. You know what I'm saying? It's not like they played in the regular season and, and Caitlyn done it to her. And then she got the best of her in the championship. So now she's doing it back. I can see that. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't no beef. It was just, it's just two good players, two competitive players, and um, in the heat of the moment. Now, they both are great players. Um, 
And Angel Reese, I think she broke the record, uh, broke the record for most double doubles in a season or something like that. Um, I also have another question. So um, Angel Reese was awarded the tournament player of the player. She was uh, awarded the award player of the tournament. And I feel like, my personal opinion, I feel like um, the better player in the tournament was Caitlin. But they're not going to give it to somebody who team lost. So, for an example, if they do feel like Caitlin played better, for Caitlin to get that award, Caitlin would have had to win the, the, the championship. Like, for an example, if Caitlyn won the championship, they wouldn't have gave it to Angel Reese. Put it like that. So, um, I feel like they gave it to Angel Reese because, one, she did play good. She did have a good tournament. I ain't going to lie. She had a great tournament. But for two, it was awarded to her because she won, too. So, it goes hand in hand. You can't. I feel like I feel like a player could, I feel like a player could have averaged 50 points, 10 rebounds, and lost. And they and they would have gave it to somebody who, on on the other team, had a good tournament as well. Let's say twenty points, ten rebounds, but they won. They would have gave it to the one twenty and ten because they won as well. You can't give that award. You can't give an award the best player in the tournament and you lost, which is it's tough to say you you wasn't the best player in the tournament because maybe you was and maybe your team just lost. Maybe your team didn't, you know what I'm saying, fulfill everything around you. And that hinders you from getting that award. So it's kind of a it's kind of a sticky situation, man. It's kind of a if you ask me, it's a sticky situation. But I think the best player in the tournament was Angel uh was I thought the best player in the tournament was Caitlin, but it was awarded to Angel because her team won and she carried her team. She carried her team to a victory. That's why she got it. She played a great tournament, and she carried her team to a victory. Caitlin played a great tournament, but she did not carry her team to a victory. You know what I'm saying? So, it's nice stick work. Nice stick work on him. Went stupid on the stick work on him. You feel me? But, um, and celebrated on him. But, yeah, man. Um, how do you feel about the situation? So, they had a post-interview, and Angel came out and said, there is no beef between me and Caitlin. As there should not be. Like, there's no beef. But the media will make it seem like it's beef because two competitive players and there was a hot situation. That right there should have been a, a catch right there. But um, that was the issue. The issue was the fact that it was just a hot situation. Um, now, have I ever flexed up on an opponent like that? Hell yeah. Um, but to show class, that's not the situation to do it. You know, if... If after the game she would have went up to her and shook her hand and be like, you know what, that was a great game, but da da da, they would have said Angel Reese has so much class. They would have said that was nice sportsmanship. That was great of her. But for her to do that when the game's over, of course you're gonna get the opposite. You're gonna get the okay, that was trashy, that was unsportsmanlike, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't that wasn't good. Of course you're gonna get that narrative, you know what I'm saying? Um but like I said, if you look at it from the other way around, um, if Caitlyn would have won it, like I said, I don't think she would have done that to an opponent in her face. But if she would have done it, if she would have done it as well, she would have got called the same shit. She would have got called uh, unsportsmanlike. She would have got called trashy. She would have got called, you feel me? She would have got the same narrative. But you know how people is, man. The media will try to make everything about race. And now they want, they, now they want to make it seem like it's a racial issue. I feel like it's not a racial issue at all. You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's just my opinion on it, man. Um, a lot of people like to, you know how the narrative is in social media. Anything hit the social media, everybody has a, a say-so. And it's always a negative say-so. Always a negative. You know what I'm saying? It's never, when something hits the social media, it's never a positive, hey, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's never nothing positive when too many people get involved with, you know what I'm saying, freedom of speech and anybody can voice their opinion. And then you just throw them on a, on a podcast or whatnot. And now the pot and, and now like, oh 
man, the way things is in today's world is crazy. You get on a podcast and say something that goes global, and now that's what it is. You know, but I'm glad she got on there and she said there is no beef between us. And there shouldn't be, you know. She won, she lost, and that's that. I mean, they shouldn't be bumping heads about nothing. You know, that's just one handled it one way, and I feel like the other would have handled it a totally different way. But at the same time, since she handled it like that, that's what it is. But it ain't no beef. Hey, we had our chance to settle it on the court. My team beat your team. I get to celebrate how I want to celebrate. The way I'm celebrating is by telling you, you can't see me. We just got a ring. Eh, ain't shit you can do about it. You feel me? And ain't shit Caitlyn can do about it at this point. She lost. You feel me? So, it's just a, man, it's just a, it's, 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 it's a competitive sport, man. And the fuss is, the big fuss about it is the fact that, um, got a nice pick right there. The big fuss is about it is they're not used to that in women's sports. So when something does happen like that and it's a black person, of course they're going to say, you know, oh, that was bad sportsmanship. Oh, that was terrible. If, um, if, um, you know, Caitlyn would have. If Caitlyn would have done it, I feel like she would have. It would have got the same. It would have got the same narrative as well. Um, but now, because it's a black person that that done it first, like it, you, you're going to get the bad narrative from it. You know, there is no good narrative from from that. There was no good narrative from that. There is none. It's bad sportsmanship. You know, and I don't think that'll affect her 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 stock. You know, because on the field, she's still, a, I mean, on the court, she's still a great player, you know, but coaches be wanting to see class and they want to see all that type of shit within the player when they draft them. And I be feeling like personally, it ain't got nothing to do with me on a basketball court. But what you also got to understand is it has something to do with um, the way you promote the team and, and the jersey that you're, that you have on your back. So when I was in college, pretty much. Um, if you got in trouble and you was um, and, and you played sports, they held you to a higher standard, and it was because you're representing the school. You know what I'm saying? They don't. It's not. It's not the the point that oh you're you or you're that or you're this. No, it's like okay, you got in trouble, but we're gonna hold you to a higher standard because you're actually representing the school on TV, on national TV, on television, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You out there in front of 17,000 fans playing football and you doing, you know what I'm saying? You doing bad. That represents us. That's going to shine more light on your bad situation. So, of course, we're going to hold you to a higher standard. And it's like, for an example, if you, D1 football player, amazing. Everybody know you nationally. You get a DUI, that's going to hit the news. Because now you got a DUI and they're like, okay, why are they letting a, a, a athlete drive drunk, pretty much? Whereas, little Timmy go to the same school as you, little Timmy get a DUI, that won't break the news at all. Nothing to be said about that. Because little Timmy is not in front of millions of fans. Little Timmy just work at McDonald's and they don't really care about little Timmy getting a, a DUI. They just care about little, little Timmy's money and make sure little Timmy's still paying for his classes and shit. You know what I'm saying? So... They're always going to hold you to a higher standard um, than, you know, so to say, just say a a college student. That right there should have been a pig, should have been a, then should have been a catch by Travis Kelsey. That right there should have been all type of shit. But right here, second half, third quarter, um, just run the same route combination because this dude want to be weird and think Chris Jones is just fucking... Which he is amazing, but like, why would you want to be on a D line every single, you know, what I'm saying? every single play? Then he found that little defense right there and thought it was the shit. Hey, we're gonna play man to man, and we just gonna and, and we gonna. I'm just like, you know, and right there should have been a pick as well. Glad it wasn't, but I'm five for seven, two hundred yard, two touchdowns. You know, and the score is a lot to a little bit. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Um, we will be doing more Players Lounge videos. 
Um, I wanted to do trash talks, but right now I just don't have time to do trash talks right now, man. I got a lot going on. Um, but make sure you guys comment down below on the situation and how you guys think um, it could have been resolved better or what do you guys think about the situation? Like, was Angel Reese wrong or do you think it's a racial thing that the media is trying to push? Or, you know, what is your perspective of it? You know what I'm saying? Comment down below. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the uh, Women's National Championship basketball game. Um, who was it? LSU versus... Who does Caitlin play for? LSU versus Iowa. LSU versus Iowa. And what's funny about it, I'm going to tell you all the funniest thing about it. The very funniest thing about it. I looked out there on the court, bro. <laughs> I looked out there on the court and it was... And this is probably why people try to make it a racial thing, but I swear to God, I was with friends watching the game, and I said, yo, it's all white people, all white females versus all black females on the court. I said, damn, that is crazy. And then at the end of the game, she ended up doing all this. I'm like, oh, my God, they finna, they finna torch her. They finna treat her bad in the comments and you know what I'm saying? Of course they're going to make it a race thing. But I want to know you guys' opinion, man. It's all opinionated. You know what It's all about how you see it. It's the only thing that matters. And then the matter, and, and the fact that matters is Angel Reese came out and said there's no beef. So she said herself there's no beef. So, you know, there's no beef. But once again, man, comment down below. What do you guys think? Hit that like button. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, This guy quits in about 33 seconds after I keep running the ball on him. So... Uh, that was a GG. Hey, Brad, wait. Oh, yeah. Huh.